and both are going in the anti-clockwise direction because this direction, right, this direction over here is anti-clockwise. Okay. So now we are going to draw the element now. Okay, we're going to draw, we're going to draw the element. Okay, so the element will be rotated by 31.7 degrees. Okay, the element will be rotated by 37 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to use the space down here. So the original axis, okay, so this is our X, or this is our horizontal axis, our X axis, and then we have our vertical axis. So this is real world, okay? We are in the real world. Then we're going to rotate by 31.7 degrees anti-clockwise. So I'm going to draw a line now. Then it's going to rotate 31.7. Okay, this is just eyeballing. Okay. So this angle over here that just drawn is 31.7. Okay, why? Because theta p is the real world, yes or no? Okay, then from here, I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste, and then I'm going to rotate by another 90. Okay, then from here, we can construct our principal plane element. Okay, so I'm going to sketch. Our element. Okay. And then I'm going to draw over here. This belongs to our X surface. And this belongs to our Y point. Or our Y point, sorry, not surface. Okay. Right. Now, Next, I'm going to find the forces that are acting on the element. I repeat again, I'm going to find the forces acting on the element. Okay, so how does it how does how does it look like? So now we have 31 point. So X rotate by this angle is 31.7, okay? This angle is also 31.7. So X rotate anti-clockwise 31.7. On the most circle, you at rotate by what? 2 theta P, right? You rotate from X, right? You rotate this way, 2 theta P, and that is theta 1. So we know that the force over here is going by tensile, it is acting at 42.36 okay, megapascal. And then the next one, okay, the next one from Y, right? From Y is going to rotate to theta 2, and theta 2 is equal to minus 2.36 compression. Okay. Okay. Then I'm next. I'm going to do a physical example. Okay. I'm going to do a physical example and to show you how to relate the real world. To the element now this is on paper if paper okay we are good to go okay but let's do an example okay and i have to be careful with the example because the camera over here is is pointing here and the camera over there is pointing towards me when i do my experiment i have to be careful with orientation i think yeah i think i have to okay now this is the experiment that I will be doing with you guys, okay? Bear with me. I've not done this before, 
So I'm going to do it now. It's not a cooking show. Cooking show, the food is ready. My food is not ready. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to draw. I'm going to I have I'm going to use a piece of chalk. Okay, so this is a piece of chalk. And I'm on the chalk, I'm going to impose an element on the chalk. Okay, so this is our element. And in terms of transformation, this is my X. This is my Y, and this is our Z, okay? So you, you can see there's a, a chalk over there. Then I'm going to induce a shear, okay? So my, my right hand will induce a torque, okay? This way, in opposite direction. Right. So if we were to just view on the element, what is going on on the element? So this is X, Y, right? So this is our, this is the shear stress that is going to happen. Okay, so I will, I will do a live demonstration in class first, then I will do on the screen, okay, and I hope you can see it also, okay, so can I turn this on? I'll to turn this burger on. Hello, I can see Zoom or maybe uh, docking camera, what is turn this on? Go oh, on. Uh, oh yeah, on is here. Can you see anything? Hello? Hold on. So those online, hold on, okay? Okay. I will do the same demonstration online also, so don't worry. Don't like, oh, we pay the same school fees, you know? Uh, we pay the fee in school fees, we get nothing. Okay, so that is our, you cannot display two at the same time, okay? So you, you, you see our, come on. It takes forever to switch. Okay, so that is our chalk, okay? So this is our, our chalk, okay? Come on, we pay a lot of money and you are so slow. Okay, so I'm going to draw our element. Okay, so okay, so you can see that is our cheeky sort element, and I'm going to put a shear down here. I'm going to rotate a top up here and I want to rotate a top down here. Okay. So that is our element. Okay. So I'm going to show students because the camera is doing this. Okay. I'm going to show the student online. So this is the chalk. Can you all see the chalk? Can someone say yes, no, not focus, focus? Can you all see the chalk? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you say it. So on the chalk, you can see a square, right? The square is our element. The arrow I'm, I'm going to construct, uh, uh, the arrow that you see is the top that I'm going to impose. Okay. Right. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. I'm going to do that now. I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to twist this. Just pure shear. Don't induce bending. Okay. Uh, okay, it, it, it break on top, okay? 
So, this might not be a very good example. I will do another one. Maybe I did a bit of bending. This is a better one. Right, you can see that it breaks at a certain orientation. Okay. So this is one. I will do another one. Okay, a different one. Right, and you can see the different one. The orientation always happen to be the what? The same. Right? The orientation is always the same. So I will do online. Online, I have to be careful. So online, what is going to happen is I'm going to twist the chalk. Okay. Ah. And I, so this is the chalk when it's twisted. Okay. And I want you to, this is, I want you to see this angle over here. The angle is like 45 degrees. Okay. I did some other tests earlier with the student. You see that. The angle for two different tests, the angle is exactly the, the same. Okay. Right? The angle. So if, if we take this and if we take this, right, we did three different tests, the angles are all exactly the same. Right? So they are about 45 degrees. Right, they are, they, are, they are 45 degrees. So now if I'm going to sketch this in the real world now, right, imagine that is our element. Okay, you can see our element. So the failure is in this direction. Yes or no? It's like 45 degrees. Okay, so now I go back to our paper. Okay, we go back to our paper. You all can see. So this is the same plane. Oh, wrong color, come on. Where failure occur. Okay, so this is our failure plane. Now why it fail? At that plane. Okay. So I'm going to sketch this based on mole circle. So I'm going to call this our point X. This is our point Y. Okay. I'm almost done. Okay. So I'm going to draw. I don't know the value. Okay. I don't know how much my fingers are twisting it. I am not a clue. So this is our normal stress. Over here. This is our shear stress. Element will take clockwise. Element will take anticlockwise. Right. So element X, right? Or, or surface X or point X over here, the element is rotating in anticlockwise. So this is where my point X is. We have zero normal stress. And then this is where our point Y is. Because the element over here and on our Y is rotating in a clockwise direction. Then now I can draw a circle. And if you look at the failure plane, right, if you look at from X to our failure plane is what? 45 what? Degrees going in what? Anti-clockwise direction, right? From point X, right, in, in the most circle, it has to rotate by what? 90 degrees. So over here, this is where failure occurs. The failure occur at its principal
principal play. That is why it is what? 45 degrees. That is why, okay, that is why, right? It's at 45 degrees, yes or no, right? So if you look at the docking camera, if I have my, it's hard to measure with this, okay? Okay, so if I put it down here, right? I mean, as I say, it's hard, hard, hard to do. It's basically going to be 45 degrees. That's all I have to tell you, okay? So that is why you can see all the tests, okay? This test over here, this test over here, this test over the parallel plane are always the same. Okay, we'll do 3D mode circle on Monday. I'll see you guys on Monday.